An ounce. The accidental voyage of the fastest man-made object. 50 years, and it's still missing. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. Five decades ago, a man-made object was propelled through the atmosphere to who knows where faster than any other article ever. The thing was traveling so rapidly that they didn't really see it go and nobody knows where it is now. It might even be somewhere here on Earth. It might be in orbit. It might be on its merry way through the cosmos like the Voyager space probes. But it's not communicating to anyone where it's going or if it will ever come back. What is this thing, you might ask? A muscle car? A dragster? A fighter jet? A missile? A bullet? Nope, 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 and nope. You'll need to keep listening to find out. Here's what happened. It was August of 1957, and the United States were still playing with atomic bombs in the Nevada desert. Operation Plumbob was tasked with detonating somewhere around 30 nuclear explosions. The purpose was to see what happened. They wanted to know how to get the biggest bang. They wanted to know how much the ground shook and how much energy was released and what kinds of energy were released. And what effect did the blast have on structures, people, and the environment? How dangerous was the fallout, the radiation, the heat, the blast wave? And where did they go? and how fast. In 1956, a subterranean blast called Pascal A was conducted. Pascal A resulted in producing a much larger boom than anticipated by 50,000 times. <laughs> it really shook things up. And a jet of flames shot hundreds of feet into the air through a utility shaft. Yes, that was a bad thing. So they had to do the test again. In August of 1957, Pascal B was ready and lowered into a 500 foot deep borehole. And not wanting the gigantic flame bursting out of the shaft again, a 2,000 pound plate of armored steel was welded into place over the open end at the top of the borehole. Dr. Robert Brownlee of Los Alamos National Lab stated that he had no confidence that the massive manhole cover would hold, but it was the best they could do. Now. The next few things happened within milliseconds of each other. The blast was detonated. The surface above the blast began to heave. The shock wave and the heat of the blast traveled up the borehole and blasted the 2,000 pound manhole cover off. A high speed camera got one single frame shot of the massive hunk of steel flying away. Based on the power of the explosion, physics calculations that I will never understand, and the single frame on the super high-speed camera, it was calculated that the manhole cover was traveling in excess of 150,000 miles per hour, or six times the velocity needed to escape Earth's gravity. Additional calculations estimate, but do not confirm, that the one-ton hunk of metal was vaporized shortly after they got the picture of it on the high-speed camera. So they are guessing it didn't get into orbit or shoot past the moon and keep going. But what really happened to it or where it went, no one can say with any certainty. The only thing that has been concluded is that nobody can find it yet. So here's the ounce. Who would have ever guessed that a manhole cover was the fastest man-made object ever push through the atmosphere of Earth. Sometimes stuff happens that just baffles everyone, and all we're left to do is ask the question, and this is the G-rated version of that question, well, what the heck was that? Well, there is always an answer to that question, and it is a rational, definitive, factual answer. The problem is, we just can't always determine what that answer is. So, we are left to make the best guess we can. Life is like that sometimes. It leaves us confused and wondering, what the heck was that? Well, there is an answer, a clear explanation. And if we're really lucky, we might even get that answer. But don't count on it. 
there are plenty of times when all you can hope to do is step aside and get out of the trajectory of the proverbial one-ton, molten-hot, 150,000-mile-per-hour manhole cover. If you can get it, just take the win. And that's it. An ounce. Submitted for your consideration.